Don't miss a beat, join the notification squad by clicking that bell, you'll get notified every time I upload a video, and be sure to join our Discord to talk and get help with your code. Hello everyone, welcome to another JDA tutorial. This is the uh, fifth tutorial, and um, quick recap from last episode. Last episode we, uh, we made a mute command and we worked with the guild controller. This episode, we're just going to begin more on uh, the Discord, the JDA utilities, what they have to offer, and um, different ways you can shorten your code without having to uh, make everything more complex using different JDA features. So we're going to make a clear command, which will clear a specific amount of text from a channel using um, something called message history from JDA. So let's make the clear command. Um, Alright, so first let's make sure this extends uh, listener adapter. And we're going to do just as we've been doing with every single command. We're going to make public void on guild message uh, received uh, guild message received event event and we're going to make our array of strings uh, uh, there we go all right so if args zero dot equals ignore case um, info dot prefix plus um, clear all right so really i'm a lazy guy so if i have a project open and uh i don't really like to recreate things that can be easily copy pasted and look just added a few words so that's what i'm going to do uh we're going to replace mute with clear we're going to say um hashtag channel I also did realize that in last episode I forgot to add a reason on the mute command, so I will not forget to do that on the clear command. Um, log. Oh, oops, wrong class. Um, we'll do that. Uh, is already defined. Oh, whoops, pasted in the wrong class. <laughs> Alright, so, um, clear command. Uh, Alright, we'll just paste that, and I will make sure that uh, this is cleared channel. Uh, channel incident text channel cleared uh, we don't need this we can say member clearer um, and then I can say incident that could as mentioned all right so now um, I'm going to add a field in this embed builder builder dot add field uh, right now I'm just setting up embed builders for the log you can adjust this however much you want uh, I just want to make sure that this uh, is functional so I'm going to uh, say number of messages cleared and we'll say here string um uh, and then we'll put here num false um, clearer, I guess. Um, uh, clearer. Um, I also did forget last time.
to uh, oh this is supposed to be cleared sorry this is uh, I forgot to um, do this so I'm gonna make a class called bulls for all my booleans and I'm going to make a uh, public static boolean uh, is staff to make sure that they are staff. Um, you can just do this check if the user um, has specific rules by doing uh, you can do uh, build message receive. Now see the thing is this is not extending listener adapter and it's not being registered as a uh, event listener so if you do this it won't really run as a guild message received event and it doesn't even say on guild message received so i could just say um if event uh, get member dot uh, get rules dot contains event dot get guild dot get role by id or role by name and then you can return true or false um I am not going to do that now because I don't really have any rank set up. But yeah, you could just do that if you want. Um, and then we also need to make sure builder dot field uh, reason and then reason and false. Okay, so uh, now we can say if um, args dot length is less than or equal to one because reason is optional um, so I'm just going to set this up kind of like how I made set up my mute command uh, send error message event dot get channel uh, event dot get mess member sorry so if it's greater than one if the length of the args uh, then we can uh, here let me make this um, A method sorry um, so I'm going to make a private void uh, purge messages I'll name it that text channel channel uh, integer number. now uh, when I first uh, was creating this a long time ago I thought I had to make a for loop to go back or make a list um, of messages every time someone messaged and then I could make a for loop to delete the previous. But I found out that JDA has a utility for that named to message history. Um, and it automatically gets the message history of the channel. So message history, history equals new message history. So we're getting the message history class from this channel. Um, we're going to make a list of messages. Uh, named messages um, I may have yeah I, um, I have the wrong message here um, uh, type Java dot out dot list does not have type parameters um Oh, okay. Hold on. Uh, messages equals history dot retrieve pass. So this is getting the past of that channel, um, and uh, num. Sorry, num, and then dot complete. So it's completing that, and then uh, channel dot delete messages, messages, and since it's doing this event on its own. Dot Q. So we're getting the history of a channel. Uh, we're creating a list of messages um, and we're setting the messages equal to the past, um, however many messages of the channel. And then we're deleting those messages. Um, uh, you do want to make sure that you're using uh import java dot you you want to use java dot util dot list and not java dot out dot list because java dot out dot list will yeah mess it up so else um 
we will uh, purge messages. Uh, well, first we want to have text channel. And kind of like how we found the first tagged member in the message for the mute command, we can do um, the same thing for uh, this event.getMessage.get mentioned channels and then get the first one purge messages um so we will purge the targeted text channel and we will purge oh now we also need to make sure this is uh, um, the amount so this needs to be changed to sorry wait uh yeah um and then integer dot parse int. So parsing an integer basically means you get a string and then it gets a number out of that string. So if I have the string five, it'll return the integer five if I parse it. So um, args uh, zero one two, and you'd be thinking three, but since Java zero one two, it goes zero one two, and this would be two. So uh, now we can log. Uh, event dot get member. Um, what else do we have? Uh, args two. Uh, reason uh, here. If um, args dot length is greater than uh, one two three three, then. Uh, We could do that. Um, args two. Uh, let me make a for loop. For uh, integer i equals oh, not one i equals. Uh, so it's starting here. So zero one two three. It's starting at the third argument or the fourth, but three in Java terms. So if i is less than args dot length um, then I plus plus and then we can say um, okay, let's first create a string reason um, and then we can say reason equals reason plus um, args of I index plus space so it can space out the words um, and then we can put reason. Uh, uh, and then we can, here, let's go to the mute command just so we can get the incident channel. Uh, you guys will have a different ID, so make sure you're getting your own channel's ID. Um, and target. And then we can copy this, except. Uh, change the reason to nothing for uh, if it's not greater than three if it doesn't have a reason <laughs> so this will be that there we go so it's really simple um, what we did was we have uh, if it's exclamation mark clear then it checks if um, the command has more than two arguments then it would be valid um, if it doesn't then it will send the error message but uh, it's getting the first um, mentioned channel, assuming that that's the channel they want to clear. It's purging the messages using the message history. Um, uh, it's checking if it has greater than three arguments, then it'll get the reason. And if it doesn't, then it knows that there is no reason. So they'll just say it without any reason. Um, this should work. Now we need to make sure that we are saying jda dot add event listener new clear command so let's restart this and hopefully it should work out fine um let's get to discord and let's clear all right so this is five messages let's clear these five messages first let's make sure that works yep okay so let's clear six messages or seven messages, sorry. so clear. Um, and then hashtag general. Oh, oops. 
hashtag general oh, sorry and um, so we're going to clear the past six messages um, because then you'll know uh, everything from here down to here will be gone six and then the reason will be uh, clear command so there we go cleared all of that and there we go um i do need to fix one error just for performance issues we need to make sure that we are saying event dot get message dot delete uh, dot q just so that it deletes the message before it deletes the other messages so it doesn't count the message that you sent as one of the message history there you go that's uh, the clear command it's as simple as can be but um, the JDA utilities and features just make it much more easier than it would be normally um, I hope you guys enjoyed next time we're gonna be going over how to uh, use timer tasks and timers to your advantage um, and just different job utilities um, to help increase the functionality of your commands. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will catch you guys next time. Peace.